Tubby. You ain't seen half of the kids' repertory. Well, here's one the kid does that you like. Woohoo! Go, chicka boom, chicka boom, woohoo! Go, chicka boom, chicka boom! When, uh, sweetie down there on the station there, she makes up the cut. Remember from Porky Pig? Uh, how cute the pig is, right? Pigs are so cute, right? It's smart. Remember in Animal Farm, they ran the farm. They're very smart. They're smarter than the other animals. But not so in human population. Not so in terms of human human consumption. The pig is always at the shit end of the stick. So, so Marcus Conti reporting on this uh, the genocide of pigs. You heard one quarter of the pigs in the world are affected by African swine fever. Now, what a time to be to think about becoming a vegetarian. Though the swine fever exactly actually doesn't hurt humans. It only hurts the other pigs. But it hurts it, the argument is that it hurts humans because it's decreasing the human protein supply. Global authorities brace for worldwide protein shortage after a quarter of the earth's pigs got wiped out let's have a look so uh so again you know hey listen man pigs are beautiful animals just think about it just think about it during the epidemic it's not here yet it hasn't hit the coast of the united states yet but it's coming i swine fever african swine fever the africans are coming to 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 swine fever you african swine fever is killing millions upon millions of pigs all over the world now, there's, there's some videos of how the – it doesn't necessarily kill the pig. It makes the pig very sick. And then the cattle farmers, the farmers, the pig farmers kill the pigs. And a lot of times in China, they just bury them alive. They just dig a big grave, and they push all the living pigs into the hole and then cover them with dirt and let them suffocate and, and, and claw each other to death and die in a mass grave. That's real. That's a real phenomenon. I'm not going to show any of that because I don't want to see it. But it is true, and I have seen it. Uh, that's how they get rid of the pigs that are diseased rather than giving them a proper, you know, shooting or proper burial or proper uh, euthanizing them. They just bury them in a mass grave. So. so anyway, African swine fever is killing millions upon millions of pigs all over the world. And this uh, threatens to create a crippling global shortage of protein as we head into 2020. Now, of course, the protein uh, argument is ridiculous. There's protein in every kind of foods we eat. There's simple proteins. There's, um, you know, there's amino acids in everything. And when you combine foods, you get you create complete proteins out of those. Uh, uh, incomplete proteins, like for example, rice and beans. You know, just look into it, and you'll you'll find out that there is no protein epi- There is no protein shortage uh, as a result of not eating meat. That's bullshit. I'm a vegan, vegetarian. Right? This epidemic began in China last year, and it is now also running wild in North Korea, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Myanmar, which is uh, Burma, and the Philippines. But this, but this crisis is certainly not limited to Asia. According to the Washington Post, so far, 2019, there have also been outbreaks in Belgium, Bulgaria, Hungary, Lav- Lat- Latvia, <laughs> Latvia, Poland, Romania, Russia, and Ukraine. So here's the actual chart. This is really good, right? So this is, this is a, a visual global threat. African swine fever has spread across the continents. So you see a heavy concentration right over here, which looks at like, you know, again, Bulgaria, looks like the um, parts of Russia, the tip of Russia, all the um, Soviet bloc uh, nonsense, right? And then over here, heavy concentration in China. This big concentration right here is Vietnam. This is Laos up here. It hasn't, seems to not have touched Thailand. It hasn't touched Taiwan, it hasn't um, made its way to Australia. There doesn't seem to be any dots in the U.S. They didn't even put the U.S. globe on uh, U.S. part on there. So, a swine fever. There's the uh, there's the global breakdown of where it is, 
And um, overall, cases of African swine fever have been documented in nearly 50 nations. The U.S. pork producers are extremely concerned that it could start spreading here too. Hmm. You think the, the, the pig farmers are concerned? How about the pigs? How about consider the pigs? African, African swine fever extremely, is extremely contagious. There is no vaccine and there is no cure for the pig, not for humans. In fact, most people, you could probably eat, the, eat that nonsense and if you, it cooks out. Right, so um, so it's actually not it's not poisonous to people, but it's poisonous to other pigs. Just for clarification, once it starts spreading in a certain area, there isn't much you can do, uh, other than uh, curdle herds and loading carcasses into hazardous waste sites. That's being mild. Like I said, they what they do is they corral the living pigs into a hole. And then cover them with dirt and kill them. Literally, we are talking about an unstoppable global plague that is an existential threat to our food supply. No, it's not. To the meat eater, it is. There's a good chance, good opportunity to look. Because look, could these could these um, uh, illnesses spread wildly uh, amongst living populations? Yes, we saw we saw with human population, we saw AIDS spread, right? Are we on the precipice of another type of biological threat to humanity? Yeah. As you can see with swine fever, right, how it spreads to, you know, wipes out a third or a quarter of the population of pigs, so could happen to humans. It's just a food for thought, no pun intended, but it's just something else to think about in term, while we're wi looking at the uh, swine fever spread around the globe. It could also create... Uh, fever is amongst human beings, right? Will we get wiped out? Will the, will the human population get wiped out by a quarter or a third of its population? Well, it is predicting. It is predictable. Uh, it does happen just as uh, viruses start to pick up strength or bacteria or some kind of thing that feeds off of humans and we're not ready for it. And pow, it takes out a, a third of the population before we figure out how to stop it. Right? So... so um, Literally, we are talking about an unstoppable global plague with swine fever, that it is an existential threat to the food supply. Well, change your food. Of course, many of us don't eat pork, but there will also be an Im uh, immense strain on supplies of beef and chicken as those that eat pig are forced to turn to other alternatives. How about soy and beans and lentils? This is an extremely serious situation, and with each month, it is just getting worse. China is the epicenter for this crisis, and CNN reporting that Chinese herd has shrunk by 130 million since this epidemic first began last year. The damage that the African swine fever has wreaked on China's pig population is hard to over, overstate. The country is home to half of all pigs on the planet, and its herd has shrunk around 130 million since the outbreak began 13 months ago according to CNN Business Analysis. Many farmers are reluctant to restock pigs after they are slaughtered, fearing they'll catch the disease again. Right? To put it in perspective, there are only about 70 million pigs in the United States. Right? That's the number for the entire country. So we have considerably less pigs in this country. Uh, so the damage that has already been done in China is beyond cataclysmic. And this crisis is far from over. According to the Washington Post, the loss in China are even higher when CNN, than what CNN is reporting. <laughs> if, they, if you can believe it, the Post says that as many as half of China pigs have already died. Estimated 300 million pigs have died of the virus or been exterminated since the disease took hold 13 months ago. So there's a lot to this. So massive, massive pigs under fire on earth, right? Fucking, come on, man. Give the pigs a break, man. Remember Porky Pig when you were a kid? Go, let's go back to, let's go back to the basics, man. Let's just go back to being humane to, you know, treating pigs like maybe humans or just giving them, not maybe, not like we humans, but at least giving the them, giving them a, a, a chance to live their lives. Uh, is that too hard to ask? Is that too much to ask? You don't have to be a vegan. You don't have to be a vegetarian. 
But is it too much to add? Well, maybe, it, maybe it is what human beings need to. Uh, they need to become. We need to become. We need to move this planet toward a, a more humane planet where humans treat other creatures and the planet itself humanely. Marcus Conte reporting.